Hola mi gente, ¿cómo están? Mi nombre es Alba Mar, me pueden decir Alba, el canal se llama Sequiela, estamos aquí para hablar de libros, algunos de ellos en español desde Puerto Rico. Hello, my name is Alba Mar, you may call me Alba, the channel name is Ariela, we're here to talk about books and some of them in Spanish from Puerto Rico. Here, 15 minutes, I've been prepping now for over an hour because this is going to be a mishmash of things, like what I'll be reading this weekend what I finished during the week, what I'm currently reading, and what I'm going to start this weekend. Plus, the haul, my mail, mail, my book mail that I sent to myself arrived. I love the USPS. Uh, those who follow me on Instagram uh, got a little bit of the USPS saga, right? Uh, I had been donating my daughter's books, books that she, you know, she has access to lots of books and wanted to donate them. But during the pandemic in New York City, they weren't allowing, N not many people were receiving, a, uh, organizations were receiving donations. But uh, the central br branch of the Brooklyn Public Library started uh, receiving donations again. And so I would go with my little cart and take uh, the donations almost every day. But at the end, she donated to me and I shipped myself four boxes. Now, first of all, I just left them in their priority boxes, right? When I got there, the postal clerk told me that it would be around 35 something. And I thought it was for all four boxes of books and he told me no 35 each and I you know I took my, back my four boxes and I said no apparently what he was trying to tell me was that I had to wrap them up right wrap them up and uh, cover the priority mail stickers so but I was not about to schlep back the four blocks and the four flights of stairs to do that. So what did I do? I schlepped up the four flights of stairs to get the wrapping paper and the tape and the Sharpie. And I stood there in the vestibule of the building and I wrapped up uh, the boxes and took them back. And all four of them cost me less than the $35 that it would have cost me priority mail. And they got here two days ago, but I've been busy, so I haven't. But I wanted to open up the boxes and show you the books that arrived. I already took out the other tchotchkes that I used to stuff, you know, the empty corners with. So these are the books that arrived that my daughter donated to me. Gracias, Jamil. Oh, yeah. I'm getting the clipped. I got the socks and everything. Okay, oh, what did I finish this week? I finished I Rigoberta Menchu for Skoden, which is a story of an Indian woman in Guatemala. Warnings for very graphic torture. Uh, Rigoberta Menchu, in case you don't know, is a Nobel Peace Prize laureate, right? And in here, she tells the story of her childhood, her adolescence, and her young womanhood at organizing the Indian and Latino communities against repression in the 60s and 70s and early 80s. Yeah, so that was a little repetitive because apparently it's a transcription of interviews that they did with her, but certainly worthwhile. And then I'm um, halfway through, halfway through Che Guevara, right? A Revolutionary Life by John B. Anderson. I'll pick that up later. Halfway through. And I'll be starting This Changes Everything by Naomi Klein. Okay. So that's for this weekend. What fell? My daughter recommended this book highly by Mark Epstein, MD, The Trauma of Everyday Life, nonfiction. 
then Woman on the Edge of Time by Marge Piercy. Uh, it's a novel. It's a novel. Uh, these she recommended to my uh, granddaughters in uh, San Sebastian. That's why it says Pepino. I'll be taking them uh, to uh, my two granddaughters. Uh, Thwonk. One is called Thwonk by Joan Baller. And the other one I'll look up later. It might be Woman on the Edge. Who knows? A Tree Grows in Brooklyn. A wonderful edition. This is a perennial, a Harper Perennial Modern Classics edition. Beautiful. Then, <clears throat> uh, the Satanic Verses. Yeah, she had them. Let's start reading that. And Middle Passages by James T. Campbell, African American Journeys to Africa from 1787 to 2005. This is history. One box down. Another one to go. Neighbors, the destruction of the Jewish community in Jedwabne, Poland. Okay, by Jan T. Gross. This is a penguin book. A new uh, <clears throat> 60th anniversary copy of The Wretched of the Earth. <clears throat> Another one by Salman Rushdie. Shame, a novel. Beautiful edition of Candide. Can you see that shiny embossment there? by Voltaire and the little comics in the front. Yeah, I saw that and I loved it. Uh, oh, and another embossed shiny edition of The Prince by Machiavelli. Uh, it's been ages since I've read The Prophet by Khalil Gibran. And Still Life with Rice by Helly Lee. A young American woman discovers the life and legacy of her Korean grandmother. You know that I'm there for all, everything Korean. Oh, Dominican Identity. Black Behind the Ears. I found this at Housing Works, uh, which is a used bookstore in um, Lower Manhattan. Dominican Racial Identity, From Museums to Beauty Shops. I think I'm cutting my head off, right? <clears throat> Polly Murray, that's another one that I got from Housing Works. Polly Murray, Song in a Weary Throat, The Memoir of an American Pilgrimage. Box two down. Ghost Wars. The Secret History of the CIA, Afghanistan, and Bin Laden from Soviet Invasion to September 10th, 2001 by Steve Cole. It's always good to remember that time. Edna O'Brien, Wild Decembers. Yeah, I read the first trilogy. The Calligrapher's Daughter, a novel by Eugenia Kim. Calligrapher's Daughter. And Chenua Achebe, there was a country. Oh, this is the other one for my granddaughter by Joan Bauer. Newberry Honor, author of Hope Was Here. It's called Stand Tall. I put that little sticker on there to know that I had to go. Oh, and then I had to stuff it with like stickers and. Uh, Tchotchkes. I have my tchotchkes over there. Oh, what else is here? Uh, more stickers. More stickers. <clears throat> Box three. Down. <clears throat> I had taken one of my book sleeves. This is a beautiful book sleeve from uh, by Monica over at Dreaming of Seely. And uh, I'll link her 
Instagram page down below. I love her stuff. Ah. Uh, I have a copy of Tinker Tailor Soldier Spy by Le Carre, but not as beautiful as this one. This is a beautiful copy. See the shiny letters? Carson McCullers, The Heart is a Lonely Hunter, which I've never read. Shame on me. Brick Lane by Monica Ali. Silencing the Past, yeah. Uh, Power and the Production of History by Michelle Roth Trouillot. Yeah, interested in that book. This is one I took to read for Reading Around the World with Mel of Mel's Bootland Adventures, which is now Melanie Martin, her channel. I didn't get to it. Sorry, Mel, but I will. Before the year is out, <clears throat> and my book, Bujo, yes, I had to pack it up because I, it was too much to carry. <clears throat> and that's it. That's it. Another book down, another box down. So that's it, everybody. I think uh, time is up. Uh, thanks for watching. Cuídense mucho, mi gente. Fuera lo mafia, nos queda este mes a proteger todo el mundo. Take care, everyone. Adiós.